guys, it's James from GigaPress.net. Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting your WordPress journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. Have you ever tried logging into your WordPress dashboard only to be greeted with the dreaded 403 forbidden error? It can be frustrating, especially when it blocks access to your entire site. Don't worry, in this video, you'll be learning how to fix the 403 forbidden error in WordPress. What is the 403 forbidden error in WordPress? This 403 forbidden error pops up when your server denies you access to a page or resource. It's a permissions issue. Your server thinks you're not authorized to view the content. The error message might say, 403 forbidden, access denied. You're not authorized to view this page or access denied. You may encounter the error while logging into the admin dashboard, browsing your site, or installing WordPress. So here's the step-by-step -step guide on how you can troubleshoot and fix the 403 forbidden error. Number one, check your file permissions. Your WordPress files need correct permissions to allow proper access. Incorrect permissions can trigger the 403 forbidden error. To check your file permissions, connect to your site files through File Manager or a file transfer protocol, FTP client, such as FileZilla. Once you open FileZilla, click on File at the top left and select Site Manager. Then click the New Site button and enter your credentials. Once your site is connected, go to the root directory, often called public underscore HTML, and open the WP Admin folder. Right-click on the folder and select File Attributes. Folders should have a numeric value of 755. Make sure to check the box Recurse into Subdirectories and Apply to Directories Only for folders. Click OK to apply the changes. Try accessing your site again. If the error persists, move to the next step. Number two, deactivate your plugins. Sometimes a plugin is behind the 403 error, but since you can't access your dashboard, you'll need to deactivate all your plugins manually. You can deactivate plugins through File Manager or connect to your site via FTP client like FileZilla. In FileZilla, once you've established the connection, click on public underscore HTML and open your WP content folder. Then select Plugins. Right-click on the Plugins folder and rename it to something like Plugins underscore old. This action deactivates all your plugins. Then try to access your site. If you're able to log into WordPress, you know that one of your plugins is causing the error. So you need to find the culprit. In your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins and select Installed Plugins. Click on Activate and refresh the page between each plugin's activation. If activating one of these tools triggers the 403 forbidden error, you'll know it's the cause behind it. Then you can delete the plugin. Number three, remove and regenerate your HT access file. Your HT access file helps control how your server interacts with your WordPress site. If it's corrupted, it can block access and trigger the 403 error. To remove the HT access file, Connect to your server via File Manager or FTP. In the root directory, find the HT access file and download a backup copy to your computer. Right click on the HT access file and select Delete. Now try accessing your site again. If the error is gone, you'll need to generate a new HT access file. In your WordPress dashboard, find Settings, then Permalinks. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. This action will create a fresh HT access file. Number four, disable your CDN. Content delivery networks, CDNs, speed up your site by distributing content across multiple servers. However, they can sometimes interfere with your server settings and cause the 403 forbidden error. Here's how to disable your CDN. If your host provides a CDN, log into your hosting dashboard and disable it. If you use a third-party CDN plugin, Deactivate the plugin through File Manager or FTP. Follow the plugin deactivation steps from Method 2. If disabling the CDN resolves the error, contact your CDN provider to address the issue. 
Finally, at number five, check your Hotlink protection settings. Hotlink protection prevents other websites from using your media files, but if misconfigured, it can block legitimate access to your site and trigger the 403 error. To fix the issue, check with your host or CDN provider to see if Hotlink protection is enabled. If it's active, ensure it's correctly configured to allow your site's content to load without restrictions. Contact your host or CDN provider for further assistance. And that's it. Follow the five proven methods to fix the 403 forbidden error and restore access to your site. Check your file permissions to ensure they're configured correctly. Deactivate your plugins and reactivate them one by one to find any faulty tools. Remove and regenerate the HT access file to eliminate corruption issues. Disable your CDN to rule out conflicts with your server. Check your Hotlink protection settings to make sure they aren't blocking access. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.